Hello, welcome to Classy Tacos. Thanks for stopping by. I hope everybody's staying safe out there. So today we're going to put a USB charger uh, down in the back seat for the back seat passengers. I went with a Blue Sea Systems 12 volt dual USB charger. These are a little pricier than some of the ones you can find on Amazon, but this company is well trusted in the marine world and like the like Winnebago camper world. A lot of guys run these without any issues, so I feel a little bit better than going with some of those unknown brands from Amazon or eBay. Um, some of those unknown brands, they seem pretty cool because they'll give you like LED lights, battery readouts. So this is just straight up charger for the rear um, and no media. So this doesn't connect any media to the radio. It's just a charger for, you know, my kids in the back seat. Uh, some of the stuff I'm going to use uh, is this Aries toolkit for uh, like it's a non marring kit for removing panels on the uh, interior. It has a ton of great reviews online. It is a little bit more expensive, so it's double the price of like your cheapest kit. So it's 12 bucks instead of six. Um, I bought some extra fuses. I have a set of T-taps we're probably gonna use. And then just in case, I have a full set of this quick splice. For my install, my Tacoma has a cigarette lighter inside of the armrest. So if you're, you know, when you're sitting down, pull up your armrest inside of it, there's a cigarette lighter. I'm never going to use that cigarette lighter, but what I'm going to do is tap into that lighter to run power to the back. And Toyota actually has a dealer service where they add this on and they do it at the dealer. So it has an instructions on how to do it. That's what I'm going to loosely use to install this. All right. I think that covers it. Let's uh, go take a walk. First thing I'd like to do is just kind of get this panel off. So I'm gonna use this tool, slowly start to get inside and kind of pry. There's a couple of clips in there that will help kind of pop it right off. Perfect, just like that. This little panel came off. Next, what I'd like to do is kind of check my distances here. So I want to have it as high up as I can because if you look at the panel kind of curves right so this curve kind of makes it point down i know it's not like perfect but it's like the best we can do with right here so once that panel is off i get to look and see and it looks like i'll definitely have enough room here is so what i'm trying to do is butt this up to basically like right there right so i'm going to take a little measurement here from the center of the cup holder down i'm coming up to it's like two and seven eighths. So from here, I'm looking at two and seven eighths. So if I go three inches, the top there to right there. So that is, is one and three quarters I have from the top of this piece here to the bottom of the cup holder and I want to try to get it as close as I can to the top of the cup holder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down one more inch so right here what I'm doing is coming down to three inches uh, making sure three inches center will should get you right up against the bottom of the cup holder so it should fit right in nice and tight Here's your bottom. This is your top. Why it's it's important to take a look. There's a bracket here, so if you screw if you drill this down a little too low, you're gonna run into that bracket. So let's go get on the bench, measure down, and drill our holes. About right there, I'm just gonna pop a little spot right there that I can see, and I'm gonna center that on these two curves. This is six, so center that. It's going to be right at three, and boom, just like that. That is my center spot. That's the center where it's going to go. So here's a, we're gonna use a Milwaukee one and one eighth hole saw. Just going to do a little test fit and just like that fit right in with that 
So just like that, she fit right in with the one and one eighth. Um, I was a little hesitant to use the one and one eighth, but it did work the best. Thought it would be too small. It kind of gives you an idea of where it's going to sit. So the way I like this is kind of sitting them going straight up and down. I feel like I don't know about your kids, but mine. If I put it this way, they'll fight on who gets the top one and all that. So we're just going to actually set that up right there just like this perfect nice clean so this section right here is what we need to redo we're going to put our kind of t-taps on these two right here so i'm going to just cut these off and strip them real quick are the parts of the t-tap that go on this wire and this is where these are the splice so once we have our wiring ready to go and we have our USB port installed. We're gonna go back over to the truck. The factory, what they do at the dealership, they kind of bring it down really low. I don't like the way that this is curved. It kind of sits down here and kind of points down, kind of at an angle like that. So I'm not a huge fan of that one either. So I'm okay with getting it up this high. I just wanna make sure you all understand out there, uh, two and three quarters is too tight. Bring it down to three inches, and it looks like it'll sit right up against it without doing any massaging. So we're going to just clean all this mess up, do our last test fit, and go run our wires. All right, let's see. So I'm going to put this in here. Yeah. Boom. We're good. It is sitting right up against at this point. It's in all nice and tight. It looks factory ish. Um, like I said before, so if you follow the dealership one, I want you to put it down here and you see like it looks like it's pointing down. So I wouldn't like that. I like it right where it is. That's about as high as you could possibly get it without cutting into your cup holder. So perfect. Sitting there good. I like that. Let's uh, run some wiring. All right, so now we're here in the front seat. We're going to just kind of remove this count. So I would say it's a good idea to pop this guy off. Grab one of your tools and just try to get it in between here. Just get it right up in here. There we go. And slide this up just like that right there. Perfect, should stay there just like that. So here is your power wire and this is your ground. Pop this off. So we're gonna tap right into these two right here. Okay, so now that we have these tapped, we're going to grab our wire that we have ready and go uh, plug it into the back we're back in the back seat we're gonna fish those wires through there's a spot right there where you can get through this little guy is like one of those tools that you'll hardly ever use but comes in handy when you actually need it two people here would be great I'm trying to grab this now just by looking at it from back here. I snagged it. And we're going to see if we can run this back here. And just like that. Gotcha. We got it. Alright. So red is your positive. Black is your negative. And just like that. Let's go ahead. Pop this guy back in. All right. So that.
that is in. So we're coming front setup. My wires are right here. So red goes to yellow, which is my positive. Just like that. And black goes to the white and black, which is the ground. Alright, and then we just plug in our cigarette lighters back in. So at this point, our USB is pretty much done and installed to get some of these wires out of the way here. I just tuck them right there and that way they're not gonna run into anything. Won't touch anything here. Yeah, before you put it down, just wanna make sure that the uh, that gear shifter is in. There we go. like that we are up and charging all right both ports are working I like that so we're done it was a pretty quick install I would say it took me about 45 minutes just making sure I got some decent shots okay. so you can kind of see what it looks like here and then coming down at this angle here. Came out good, as you can tell, it is super hot here today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Stay safe.